I'm Susan Connolly, S-U-S-A-N, C-O-N-N-O-L-L-Y. I'm a resident of Marshall, Michigan, where close to one million gallons of tar sand spilled into Talmadge Creek in the Kalamazoo River, approximately 40 miles of freshwater, riverbank, wetlands, wildlife, and hundreds of residents have been harmed by the spill. The spill occurred in the middle of some of the most sensitive wetland areas in the state. Again, I've given you a CD so you can go through and see the impact to this day. We are approaching the three-year anniversary since the spill. With questions left unanswered, residents' concerns linger, and oil remains. You speak about job growth during this whole afternoon. Before this spill, I had never heard of Enbridge or seen a single worker in our area. But for the last 32 months, we have been inundated by workers. So when you talk about job growth, the only job growth that I have seen is them coming to clean up our spill. As everyone has said, it's not a matter of if, but when. When will the next pipeline break occur and where, which I see now three weeks ago has already happened in Arkansas. These questions have to be on your minds. When the spill occurred in our hometown, first responders, county health officials were caught off guard. A lack of training, lack of communication, failure to evacuate residents. There are too many unknowns. For the well-being, it's unconscionable to me that the health and the well-being of our environment and our citizens has been set aside for the sake of tar sand oil, which little is known about the effects at this time. I find it negligent act, and I will point an accusatory finger at the pipeline company as well as our government. Our state and federal government, its elected officials, failed to protect the people and the environment. I ask you why. Why would you approve the construction of yet another pipeline when the existing pipelines have numerous defects and need to be corrected and fixed, although our regulations between the state and federal policies are lacking greatly? How could our representatives allow materials such as tar sand crude to flow through pipelines, whether new or old, when no one has any idea how to clean it up? Nor do they know the health implications when we breathe in the vapors. As you know, Michigan, right now, they are writing the book. Or as I say, they're making it up as they go along. Because again, they have no idea how to clean it up. In Arkansas, they lost 20 homes. Still questionable whether or not they'll be able to return. We lost 150 homes. And that doesn't include all the land in between those homes. Some of those homes either lay dormant, they were demolished, and the wells have been capped. We still have questions and concerns about long-term health, the destruction of our ecosystem. So before you vote on approving the Keystone, I personally invite each and every one of you, come to Michigan. Please come and spend some time, look at the river, look at the water. Come in and take a swim and see how safe you feel allowing another pipeline to come and break. Thank you. Thank you.